Um, so my name is Lindsay Ratcliffe. I am a nurse practitioner student in the nursing department. Um, we'll be graduating with my um, degree in family nurse practitioner here this summer. Um, my research advisors were Dr. Jan Scheffelbein and then committee members included Dr. Jennifer Harris, both of which are in the nursing department, and then Dr. Greg Belcher in the technology and workforce learning department um, helped me with the research piece itself. Um, so my my research problem looked into adolescent pill abuse in rural America. I actually um, saw a news article which um, kind of prompted my interest. I'm originally from um, a large metropolitan area and now live um, and will be practicing in rural America. So this um, really um, piqued my interest. Um, when I started looking into the problem, I saw that um, the CDC has actually labeled this as an epidemic, and um, the adolescent population, especially in rural America. And what I found was proper disposal of um, prescription meds were um, cited to be one of the major problems. Um, as far as purpose goes, I wanted to identify a prescribing knowledge of nurse practitioner students, so future nurse practitioners in our area, um, provide information um, regarding disposal and patient education, um, and then test this intervention. Um, so why is this important? Um, as nurse practitioners in rural America, we are um, practicing as primary care providers who are prescribing these medications um, to the public. Um, it's been cited that uh, prescription pill abuse is a gateway. Um, one in 15 of these adolescents go on to try heroin within the next 10 years. Consequences of these medications and availability. So, of course, um, we go to school for years, and our um, physician uh, collaborators go on for even longer to be able to prescribe these medications. So, people giving them to themselves, sharing them, um, has quite an impact um, because they don't know the behind knowledge of the side effects and um, comorbidities that they might have and what those drugs are going to do mixing with other drugs in their cabinet. Theoretical framework, I used Imogene King's middle range theory of goal attainment. This really um, highlights the nurse and patient relationship. And so um, looking at nurse practitioners in the future, um, this really focused on their assessment skills and their ability to communicate with patients and come up with a, um, a plan with patients when prescribing these medications. So my research questions include demographic characteristics of participants, knowledge of the growing epidemic, uh, the competency level of proper medication storage and pill disposal, frequency of preceptors that these uh, future nurse practitioners, um, how these preceptors were educating their patients, the retention level of um, information once presented, and the impact on their future practice. Um, so what I found in the literature was there's four different um, types of medications being abused, opioid stimul stimulants, CNS depressants, and then cough, cold, allergy, antibiotics, which that um, sector kind of touches on a whole different area of lack of um, care, um, lack of um, access to health care. So I um, focused on the other three. Um, prevalence was amazing. So CDC uh, named this as an epidemic. Um, prescription pill abuse is cited to be higher than illicit drug abuse at this time. Um, up to 25% of high schoolers have tried an illicit um, medication. Um, this is second only to alcohol and marijuana in this population. Um, females, higher rate of abuse than males, um, and that has to do with the social acceptability. Um, so when we think of drug abuse in the past, um, it's kind of those negative connotations of the syringe, the dirty spoon, um, that sort of thing, popping a pill. Um, the females in high school were citing that to be more acceptable. Um, so lots of different factors associated with the rise. Um, perceived safety, availability, media advertisement um, were cited to be uh, one of the biggest and motivating factors. So we're looking at the ADHD medications that are being abused by like by college um, students for study purposes. These are different factors than the old way of looking at medication abuse for the um, purposes of getting quote unquote high. Um, prevention tactics in the literature looked at school-based, community-based, and primary care prevention. Um, I focused of course on the primary care aspect 
Um, so disposal, there's many different types of disposal. Um, CDC recommends either in a trash can or through a take back program, but not flushing um, down the toilet. Um, so this was the quasi-experimental pre-test, post-test. Um, I gathered quantitative and qualitative data. Um, I sampled a nurse practitioner class in the College of Nursing. Um, this was voluntary involvement. I did have IRB exempt status, um, and there were 15 participants in the group. Um, I um, informed consent, gave them time for questions, did a pretest, did an educational presentation um, via PowerPoint, similar to this one, and then post test. Um, data analysis, quantitative measures were um, analyzed. They were part of the demographic survey, pretest, post test um, information. And then I did have qualitative um, items that were analyzed by hand. So assumptions that this uh, population would give truthful answers, that they wanted to participate, that they were representative of the population I was looking for, and that they believed in the confidentiality procedures that I presented. So what did I find? Um, demographics really um, equaled out to what the nursing and nurse practitioner population looks like across the country. Um, so mainly female, average age graduating is mid-30s, and average age, um, experience as a nurse ten, six to ten years. So what I did find is pre-test, post-test that um, there was knowledge gained um, from the intervention. Participant of beliefs that came up um, throughout the presentation is they didn't realize there was such a problem um, and really identified a prescriber responsibility um, going forward. Root causes identified were accessibility um, of medications um, and patient education. Um, and then they, um, many of them reported um, a importance of the MP role, not only as the prescriber, but also as the patient educator. Um, so, what does this look like in future practice? Um, the uh, participants really uh, cited that they would include education in their future practice, um, that this new awareness was something that they wanted to incorporate moving forward. Um, and then this I thought was interesting. Um, this just shows that, patient, that the nurse practitioners had uh, quite a motivation before they even saw the information to say that they were going to utilize it in the in the future, which talks a lot about or towards nurse practitioners in general. Um, this this slide shows a preceptor example. It was very few and far between that nurse practitioner students were citing that their preceptors were doing this education with patients, which was eye-opening for them.